it's Amanda, and in today's video we will be um, checking out this Colorverse New Horizons Limited Edition set. It has um, four inks in it, Pluto and Beyond, Ar Arrokoth, Pioneer Container, and Kuiper Belt. Um, it's four 15 ml uh, bottles of ink, so it's the small, not the very tiny ones, but it's the smaller ones. I'm very excited about this because um, really I, I got the set because um, I like this uh, this purpley gray color and also Pluto. I love Pluto. Pluto got robbed. Pluto got robbed. Don't worry about Pluto, it's messed up. It's one of my favorite lines since like um, yeah. New Horizon spacecraft is the first spacecraft to explore Pluto up close. Fly by the dwarf planet and its moons on July 14th, 2015. In early 2019, New Horizons flew past its second major science target, 2014 MU69, the most distant object ever explored up close. So cool. And you have, I feel like the little, the little design. Oh man. Colorverse is so awesome. I love all their space stuff. I'm gonna peel this off. I'll just stick it back on the box just in case I need it again. I don't know if I will or not, but, but yeah. I saw this set and I was so excited about it. And I was always sad I never got that Voyager set. Although I think you can still find it. But I was like, oh no, I need to, I need to have this. So let's take a look. <clears throat> got Colorverse packaging. We have um, a little card, a little, little booklet that shows um, the color. Pluto and Beyond, Arakoth, Kuiper Belt, Pioneer Container, um, and then it shows when the spacecraft was like a, when the spacecraft was launched and all that stuff. Oh, so cool! A little timeline. Amazing. I guess I just took it for granted that that was what was what I was interested in and let nature take its course. And then we have little stickers. And then we have whatever this is, a coaster or something. I'm gonna leave it in the packaging, but it comes out of this box. Very cool. And then we have the bottles. We have Kuiper Belt. Pluto and Beyond. Arakoth, I'm sure that I'm saying that incorrectly. And Pioneer Container. I'm not. What I'm not sure about is if any of these are glistenings. I don't think that they are. I think the swatches are just plain swatches. Um, I don't see shimmer in these, but I think it's just flat ink. Cool, cool. I'm very excited. Very excited. Okay. As always, I will be using my Moon Man N N6 glass dip pen. I have a few coloring cards, and then we have our inks and various paintbrushes. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with Arakoth because that's the one that I grabbed. I'm gonna save Pluto and Pioneer for last because those are the ones I'm most excited about. Oops. So these aren't the big giant bottles, um, and they're not the, this is like if you get the two, the um, sets that come in two, this is the smaller bottle in that set of two, so it's a 15 mil. And I got this from Drum Ghouls, so I'm just going to put a D for Drum Ghouls. terrible. I'm going to dip it again. There's a New Horizon or New Horizons. Where did I put the packaging? New Horizons. And this is Arakoth. The handwriting is atrocious, but it's fine. This looks like a very interesting brown color. So 
that's really pretty and interesting. My paintbrush doesn't want to go all the way in, so I'm making do with what we've got. This is such a fascinating color to me. Looks like it's going to have really nice shading. I like how it looks in the um, little scribble. Um, I can't wait to see what it looks like uh, fully dry. Even the text still is kind of wet, so it looks like it needs to dry a little bit, but yeah. We will set that off to the side and we will move on to the next one, which is a Kuiper belt. I think I'm saying that correctly. I feel like I am. I feel like I used to think it was something else, but then I heard somebody with much more knowledge of space things say it. And I believe they said it's Kuiper. If I'm incorrect, please let me know. This looks like it's gonna be a pretty um, like dark blue or blue black perhaps. <laughs> This is a very dark ink. Definitely leaning towards a blue black. This is very pretty. Like a bluish, a dark bluish gray, sort of. That's pretty. I already like how it looks on the card. I don't know if you can hear in the background, I have my Twitch running on my laptop in my other room. <laughs> I just heard the streamer I was listening to uh, yell at her game. Next up, we're going to do Pluto and Beyond, which is probably my second favorite one out of this bunch that I'm really excited about. Love a good murky green. Plus, it's called Pluto and Beyond, and I love Pluto. This, I think, will look really nice in my Pelican uh, M400 White Tortoise. Also, it would look real good in my uh, Show Design Pocket 6 that I received for my birthday. Okay, this is a slightly bigger brush, so I shouldn't have any problem. This is so pretty. Oh, I love this. I love this. Oh, I love that so much. I love that so much. It's all murky and green and gold and I don't know why I love this color shade so much because it's not something that you would think that I would gravitate towards but I just love it so much these murky yucky greens like not they're yucky but they're like dirty and they look like they've seen some stuff <laughs> oh I love it I love it and last but most certainly not least, the one I'm most excited about, Pioneer Container. Looks like it's one of those like mer like dusty, purpley, like grayish purples. 
that are totally my jam and I probably have like a hundred inks that are in this color and have no business having another one but I do and I'm not even mad about it drum rolls again because it's a set new horizons looks like we're gonna have some really nice shading Dip my brushes in water so they don't um, soak up all the ink all the way up to the ferrule as much and they're easier to clean but I like to like squeeze them dry obviously so I don't get water in the ink but anyway it probably makes sense to nobody but me but oh that look at that like Sydney Lavender vibes but without all the cool colors. Although it hasn't dried yet, so maybe. I don't think it's gonna though. I think it's more of a sort of flat grayish per oh my gosh, I love that so much. I love it. I'm gonna let these dry for a few minutes and then we'll come back and show them off. Um, I'm not gonna compare them. None of them really like, I don't know, I could compare them but I'm not going to because I don't feel like digging through all my cards because I have so many cards that I need to organize and put away that probably after I get this video up that is a task I should tackle so I can finally start doing comparisons again. <laughs> anyway, I will be right back in just a moment. And we're back. We have some uh, swatch cards to look at. So we'll start with this Arakoth, which is really interesting. Has some really cool colors going on, like in these spots where it's where the ink was laid down. Um, definitely got some good shading. Looks some like it could maybe potentially have some interesting hailing. Um, I love how it looks in the color verse. I love how the scribble looks. This is like such a like, I'm gonna call it a weird color. I just mean that it's not like a color that I typically um, like run to, but I think it's super interesting. Then we have Kuiper Belt, which is a pretty, pretty, a very pretty um, blue black, I would say. Um, there is some like, there is like, I don't wanna say that it's sheen, but there is some, maybe haloing or like a hazy effect that looks like it could be sheen it's very dark um but in spots where the ink goes down a lot i kind of see it around the scribble a little too some haloing on the edges um i don't know if this will be evident in a pen but that's what it looks like on the swatch card um then we have pluto and beyond which is Super fun. It's all scummy and um, there's a, a yarn brand that I um, used to buy yarn from. I haven't in a while just because I haven't been buying yarn. Um, but they had a green this color and they called it, I think they called it pond scum or pond scummy or something like that. Um, if anybody um, has ever used socks that rock yarn, you may remember that. And then we have Pioneer Container, which is this really pretty dusty purple that I love. Probably have like a million of them like this, but I think it's great. I already have ideas for pens to put these two in, um, like potentially immediately. <laughs> um, yeah. 
and I, I think this would be really interesting in my um, pen BBS. I think it would look really pretty in that pen. And this is just like a, it's a blue black. It would look pretty in basically anything, I think. Um, yeah, so I think this is a really interesting collection of colors. Um, yeah, I don't know. Are you considering getting it? Would you consider getting it? Um, I still kind of want that Voyager set because I want like Jupiter flyby and pale blue dot. And I like, I think the colors in that are interesting. I just never went ahead and did it. Um, but yeah, these two, these two got me for sure. Um, yeah, I have the paper towel here that I blotted my, um, paintbrushes on. And so I wanted to kind of show you like mini, mini chromatography, I guess. So this is the Arakoff. So there's like some blue in there. It's like this brown and sort of like a mauve, like a rosy color and this like turquoisey blue. And then we have this dark, dark blue, but it also has that like turquoisey coming out. And then this is like, it doesn't do highlighter effects in the water like some of the Birmingham inks do, but um, this is like some highlighter yellowy stuff going on here with that green and then this dusty purple. And if you get some water on it, it will split out into some, um, um, it looks like some pink and some blue, but yeah, it stays pretty, it stays pretty much the same, but there is some splits in some of these, but yeah, anyway, some like interesting, like paper towel chromatography from blotting, from blotting my paintbrushes, but yeah, anyway, I thought that was interesting. Uh, let me know if you're considering getting this set. I believe it's $60 for, um, four 15 mil bottles of ink. Um, and obviously like the color first packaging and all that. I ordered mine from Drum Ghouls. I'm sure that it's sold pretty much anywhere you can find Colorverse. I'll link to it in Drum Ghouls and see if they have it available still. Um, but definitely check out um, all the places you like to buy Colorverse inks because I'm sure that they have it or will soon if they don't. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. Like I said, I'm really excited to get these two in pens and I have ideas for pens that I could do like basically immediately. I look forward to seeing you again very soon. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Love you, bye!